This rather stylish little lamp is a hydroponic lamp. It's uh, from eBay and basically it's for plant growth and they rated it at 5 watts and it's really not. Uh, there was something rated something like 1... The actual power consumption was 1.9 watts, so a bit uh, misleading information there. Although, to be fair, they do have 6 half-watt chips, um, so theoretically it could have been rated uh, at least the 3 watts. But anyway, it comes apart like this. The front comes off, and there's a fairly chunky plastic lens. Inside is the circuit board, which has the LEDs, and because it's using a standard driver inside, it treats it as three one-watt LEDs. So it's actually got three half-watt LEDs in series, another three half-watt LEDs in series, and then it runs the two sets in parallel. The circuit board isn't held in place by a front assembly this time, so it's um, <coughs> using what feels like a sort of like a RTV type sort of thermal compound, a sort of setting rubbery silicon compound which seems to hold the PCB in place. The power supply for this is in the back, and I have to say that if you've got a tight GU10 lamp holder, it tend, it's quite easy to unscrew the front off this while trying to unclip the lamp. Inside is one of these very standard now um, little switch mode supplies with the BP, um, BP9021 type chips. Um, <coughs> and what's nice about this particular design is that the low voltage side of the transformer is at the front and all the mains voltage is at the back. So the mains voltage circuitry is actually all sat into the plastic housing and when you screw it in, it by default pushes in so that only the low voltage section is at the front. That's assuming there's any decent isolation. Goodness knows how they put these threads around here. They're, they're so fine. I'm not sure how they did that unless they threaded it before they cut the slots. I'm not 100% sure how they make these fairly complex heat sinks. They're quite neat. So I'll just put that disc in and then treat you to the sound that this makes when uh, you try and screw the plast the aluminium, oop, aluminium front back on because it's totally, uh, yeah, it's very much a oh, fingers down the glass type sound but it's quite a nice attractive little lamp, it's just not anywhere near its official rating which is a, a shame and the rating is just clearly bogus because it's a chip that's designed to drive a 3 watt lamp and it isn't even managing that but other than that, it's quite an attractive lamp.